One way to think about these geoengineering technologies is as an impulse to mastery of nature. And lots of people say, this is the very impulse that got us into this mess in the first place. So geoengineering could be used as a way to prevent more effective actions on climate change. For political reasons, but also because they limit our social imaginations, our ways to see other forms of response. We might so buy in to the techno fix that we can't see another way forward. I'm torn. seven agendas, military and nature, military industrial intelligence complex in nature, and Clifford Carticom is the one who first thought these up. I've changed them a little bit because Weather I've warfare. developed my ideas a little further. So um, we all know about the weather and the weather engineering that is going on. Then there's uh, planetary geophysical operations where various parts of the earth, you're going to see them change. It's not just a matter of the salt domes down in, uh, in Louisiana uh, collapsing and huge holes opening up in highways. Uh, there are going to be various things changed with weather engineering, and that's happening in New Zealand right now, in my opinion. Uh, then electromagnetic operations, they've discovered plasma. They've discovered how to make plasma. In this electromagnetic sky we have now, they can produce uh, plasma entities. You'll hear about plasma orbs. You'll hear about uh, various weird things happening, uh, clouds that look like stones bouncing on the earth. Uh, this is uh, Plasma is the name of the game now to discover how to use plasma, how to create it, and probably how to sell it, yes. So um, directed energy warfare, uh, producing droughts in order to get nations to obey, in order to get nations to buy cloud seeding uh, and ionizing cloud seeding. Um, it's uh, a money maker. And it's a way to threaten and muscle nations into a certain behavior. Um, biological transhumanism, I mentioned that. This all goes all the way from Morgellons to genetic modification. Surveillance and neural operations. This is mind control, to be very brief. This is completely mind control and easy, easy to do. Uh, and finally, the last one, which is the most far out, I suppose, the detection and obscuration of exotic propulsion systems. And when I say that, we could include UFOs, we could include uh, plasma orbs, but we could also include the discovery, which is quite, for at least 50 years, of anti-gravity propulsion and other propulsion. So J. Marvin Herndon nuclearworld.com on George Nori coast to coast AM 12 14 17 
I'm lucky enough to find one. So I'm sure that, well, the first, let me say in a more general sense, you know, I've, I've, I've written to, and this is, this is on my website, I've written to the mayor of San Diego and the, the police chief to they may not even know tell them about the health risks and then that they should be doing something about it. They should, should be, be warning operating children the not to be playing outside when the spring is going on, things like that. They did nothing. They did nothing. Now, uh, there's certainly laws, childhood endangerment, for example, uh, that, that should be covered by this, but apparently there is some secret gag order, which has to be an illegal gag order. Nobody has the right to poison the air we breathe and to order people to be silent about it or to lie about it. Nobody has that right. Uh, the only way that this system can function as it is is by secrecy and by deceit, deceiving the public. Are you 100% convinced that this is happening? Oh, there's no doubt. Is it, uh... I mean, and, and even, uh, you know, if, if you ask so if somebody about a topic like ghosts, okay, maybe the a true believer might say, well, there are ghosts in the world. But unless the ordinary person can see such a manifestation, it's hard to relate to. But I'm telling you, with the spraying of the atmosphere, all you have to do is to look up up in the air. I mean, you, you see this, and you see they, they often spray at night where so you don't see the spraying. But what's what the, the gross effect after the, the, the trails disperse uh, is to leave a white a white haze in the sky. That's the light that's being scattered. I know it's wow. like smog, but it's not. Yes, that's right. It's, it's light that's scattered by those particles. And uh, it's so you, you mentioned uh, the word conspiracy theory. That was a term that was invented by the Central Intelligence Agency. That's right. Uh, back uh, during the, uh, the Kennedy assassination. To put down people who were getting too close to the truth. Exactly. And that is the big lie now. The they'll, 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 they